So after the moderate success of Ghost in the Shell, let's see what they can do with adapting the famous Japanese anime series of Death Note. <laughs> Death Note, directed by Adam Wingard, starring Nat Wolf, Lakeith Stanfield, Margaret Qualley, Shea Wiggum, Paul Nakuchi, Jason Lyles, and Willem Dafoe. So Death Note is a Netflix original movie based on the Japanese anime, where we meet a character by the name of Light Turner who comes across a book called The Death Note, where it is controlled ultimately by a creature from another dimension called Ryuk, who's voiced very superbly by Willem Dafoe here. And with the purpose of this book, you can literally write any name into it as long as you have a photograph or have seen this person in real life before and decide how they're going to die and when just by writing all the details in this book. And as Light Turner finds this book, he soon decides to start taking out various people as the movie goes along. Now, I am going to say this right away. Unfortunately, this is not as good as the original anime, but were we really expecting it to be? Now, there are quite a few things they do get right, like the character of Ryuk. He man Willem Dafoe manages to absolutely steal the show in this movie completely, as he just completely embellishes himself in this role. The guy who plays Light Turner is a okay, and he's a likeable enough guy, but... Unfortunately, what kind of bogs this movie down is the whole young adult melodrama that's going on with the love interest in this movie. However, another good point of this movie is the character of L, as he's actually a much more likeable character here in this movie than what he was in the original anime, in my opinion. And yes, I know I'm making a lot of comparisons to the anime, but you can't help it when it comes to something like this. And also, something that I've noticed a lot of critics have been complaining about is that a lot of the key points of the anime are shortened down into a montage, but I for one can understand it as this is an hour and 40 minute movie, whereas the anime is a multiple episode series, so with a series you have more time to go into everything. However, that doesn't save this movie ultimately, unfortunately, as you do feel that Light kind of goes from being your everyday high school student to sociopathic killer in the matter of seconds. And as I said, the melodrama in this movie really does bog it down a lot, but you still manage to follow the basic story pretty well. But it's just a shame that this movie could have really reached its full potential with such an interesting concept. I mean, come on guys, what would you do if you had a book like this? I'm really intrigued to know. So, yes, while Death Note is very watchable and it can be entertaining for like an hour and 40 minutes, it's not one of those movies that's going to make any great big waves this year, unfortunately. My final verdict is a 7.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching this, guys, as always. Now it's over to you, so feel free to comment below and tell me what your thoughts are on Death Note. And as always, guys, if you are new to my channel, feel free to click here to see more and subscribe as I do make new videos as often as I can. And don't forget to click that bell so that you're always notified of whenever a future video is posted. And as always, guys, I shall see you all on the next one, and take care. <laughs> I'm gonna go